Hello everyone, welcome to another episode with Renaissance Cards. This week we're looking at Innovation. So the first time you gain an action card in each of your turns, you may set it aside. And if you set it aside, play it. So it only works on the first time. And you can play that action card immediately. So cost six as well, so you're not gonna be buying this that early, usually into the middle game. And you have this effect for the rest of the game because it's a project. Uh, we are joined today by Cyrix as usual. So let's get some games in. All right, so innovation here can play to typically innovation is best with mid-turn gainers so for example university here if you gain a festival it'll play that festival straight away of course it remember it has to be the first one first action that you gain so any of these cards that the university gains the first time it'll play it for you which is excellent another time that innovation really shines is when you have plus buy on the board so you can for example have eight coin um, buy a trade route or gain a trade route and it'll come into play and then you get the extra money from the trade route if any to potentially increase what you can buy that turn even without those two situations innovation is very very good being able to play actions as soon as you buy them even though they might do like stupid things like just draw three cards and you can't play any of the three cards it still might be worth it for the cycling to be honest oh, here's necromancer that's a good card i'm convinced there's some combo with necromancer we haven't figured out yet but i don't know if that's true or not anyways we'll get to that when we uh think more about necromancer here what do we want i don't i don't even know let's get the mystic let's try to buy an innovation with all this mid turn gaining it will be quite quite good we have some points on arena i think you you just want to have lots of mystics in your deck and the odd festival that is yeah, they're just lots of different silver variants, right? Trade route might be more than silver, but whatever. Um, so we'll keep trashing here. Hopefully one day two draw things on the board. Necromancer can draw, yeah. What else can draw? I mean, beggar increases your hand size. Oh, innovation. Oh, yeah. Of course, innovation. <laughs> I'm dumb. Um, we want the mystic, of course, here. We guess for copper. Tried to trash it. It wasn't the elusive estate. So, we'll get one more university. Probably we don't want any more universities. I don't know. So, what Sirix was saying with the innovation is if you gain a scheme, for example, that scheme comes into play straight away. And you get to draw with it, which is very nice. Doesn't actually increase your hand size, but it still is worth something. Seems to have a lot of mystics here. Alright, so let's get rid of the estate. I don't know when we will ever be clean, but maybe someday. Uh, do you want another university? Maybe. I would like a necromancer to trash some of these universities at some point. Then you can use the necromancer as a university if you want. No more mystics, no. We have no more mystics. Cyrix, what have you done? Um, I don't know what the guess is here. It can't be amulet, right? Is it another university? It was an amulet. Wow, I'm dumb. Um, let's gain one festival. And we want some necromancers now. Oh, we could top deck something. Great. Let's top deck a mystic. This is what I wanted to avoid. I want to be able to trash as often as possible with the amulet, but what can you do? We'll go mystic for 
copper here because if there's something good on top of the deck yeah so he's doing the thing he's apprentice trashes university guys you don't really need the universities now they'll gain schemes for you but that's not so important no one has bought innovation yet maybe Cirx will buy innovation here yeah he does okay so now we'll see some tricks innovation is very very tricksy because it employs a mechanic that we haven't seen before so it takes some time to get used to it at least for me anyway um i will get an innovation here so we need more necromancers probably probably more schemes plus one and plus one and we get the innovation here so let's check it out Cyrix is first in with innovation let's see what he does with it so here's the necromancer I play it as a as an apprentice to kill the amulet Where are the universities? Okay, here, here. Let's see what he does. So here goes the festival and out comes the festival immediately for the plus buy. Very good effect, very good effect. 15. And enough for province. So I will go ahead and double trash here. Because this deck doesn't really function with coppers in it. Um mystic i don't know what you guess here man i'm mystic it was a university great so there's not a lot i can do here to be honest let's let's get the necromancer and play it as something we can do spy and discard this thing great festival and we'll get a scheme um we can do the, some innovation tricks here with this necromancer but we'll see what we need to do if we need to do it so that necromancer is spy university gains money lender i assume yeah coppers in hand immediately playing it arena points and seven which is not eight okay let's get the scheme out first so we have a pair of coppers i probably should have trashed that festival actually let's go with the spy the deck is good uh let's top deck the amulet so the mystic can get to it let's kill the potion hooray and what i don't know i don't even know if you want gold sure let's get our gold why not and scheme the necromancer of course so first is spy Sirk should probably be able to get a province here Apprentice Trash is another university. Yeah, that's what I want to do as well. So many mystics. How many mystics does he have? At least five of them. Ah, nice. So you use the mystic top deck to play the um, mason. Without repercussion, really another scheme plays the scheme immediately so you get the top deck ability of the scheme straight away top decks to necromancer so we get plus one coin here a couple schemes come out um is this a university it's not it's a copper i don't want it to be a copper though <laughs> can you not be a copper let's get this out for spy and keep this here so we'll get a scheme play the scheme to draw into the other necromancer and what else can we do with the necromancer we can play the apprentice um do we want to play the apprentice sure let's play the apprentice 
more festivals for me and I complete this one as a university to gain I don't know sure another festival that isn't making the pile out any less difficult and take our province oh we get to scheme things so necromancer 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 Trash is another university. Oh yeah, I forgot he doesn't have universities anymore, so the pile out there isn't that easy. Trash is a mystic. Gains a capital. Yep. Alright, alright, so let's, let's see if we could get to double province. Yeah, we have lots of silvers in the deck. Apprentice. The university. Very good. That means all our mistakes need to draw. Which is incredibly unlikely, but we'll try anyway. So let's play this one as a uni. So we can gain a scheme. Play the scheme to draw. Okay. Just giving our mystic most the, 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 the best options available to it. We actually really really don't want that university so we'll get rid of it mystic what what is in here i have no idea more schemes are in there but it was a university no <laughs> please no. i don't want to draw the university so let's just guess for nonsense actually i can discard that for points all right end actions we barely get to one province and he wanted two of them. <laughs> Which is for necromancer. Does he have double province? Probably. If he guesses right. So yeah, university gains scheme here or something else. Scheme, yeah, to draw the copper and then. Okay, then nothing. I thought it would let him get the double. All right, necromancer lead. Apprentice the university, down you go, get all these schemes out. Um, Mystic, yes, right, all these schemes are here now. What is left? A festival. Oh, oh, it's like I knew, I didn't actually know. Um, okay. So necromancer, play necromancer, play as spy. And get rid of this. Alright, check it out, check it out. We have 13. Haha. <laughs> and scheme, necromancer, necromancer. Scheme, mystic. Well, it doesn't matter because he'll win on the next turn, but I should put the university back with the mystic. No, look, he just has to buy a necromancer. Okay, very good. Oh, we have the William Lock. Alright, let's go again. Alright, so what can innovation do here? We are gain have university. It's like I'm handpicking these boards, huh? So we have the mid turn gainer, you have plus buy and silk merchant. And any of these actions that you buy or gain so university can gain all save hunting grounds you play it immediately um, obviously you don't want to do that on treasure map but like silk merchant is totally fine priest is fine guide dungeon dungeon is actually a good target anyways we need our potion here i think 
I don't really know what we're doing in this game, to be honest. Something with Silk Merchant. And treasure maps. And the hunting grounds. I don't know. We need the trash as well. Let's put the potion on top. Very little chance anything could go wrong with putting the whole oh, case. Okay, somebody has innovation. <laughs> so we need to get the innovation ourselves here. This is our priest. There's dungeon, so dungeon comes out immediately, and you'll see the big, big benefits Cyrix gets here from um, picking up that innovation early. So the dungeon comes out immediately. We do want the university on top. Um, I think we will go here with a silk merchant followed by a dungeon. So the priest comes out trashes immediately and gets extra money for to use the second buy with. So this is what I was talking about earlier, picks up a silver. So we'll gain the silk merchant, pick up the dungeon, and this is an innovation here for us. So I'm pretty happy to have the university now, because then I can gain and place silk merchants. So down goes this estate and the extra coffer from the silk merchant there pulling its weight so we take the university here and we definitely will gain silk merchant by another university we need another priest at some point but i don't think that's terribly urgent so he has the university and can play the university immediately which is very good So you need to gain Silk Merchant, play that immediately. And we could get our pawn, but I don't know why we would get our pawn. I'd rather have a dungeon or a guide even. So he does the same trick, University pulls down our Silk Merchant. And he'll get lots of draw from it. He has the villagers, of course. Another uni, I imagine. And the hunting grounds. Yep, hunting grounds is a great card. At this point. Uh, okay, this is good. So I'll be able to top deck a uni here. Which is super important. Because we need to continue the turn. So Uni pull down the Silk Merchant, played Silk Merchant, and we'll also get our Hunting Grounds on this hand. Alright, there you go, Hunting Grounds. So Cyrix went after a slightly, not slightly, a different strategy to me. He went after the innovation early and he got it, and it is paying dividends, right? I went for the gaining first with the universities, and I feel a bit behind here. Out comes the hunting ground. So this is going to be a good turn for him. He gets a double trash as well. And this could be another university hunting grounds for him. Yeah, uni and hunting grounds. Very good. The correct star chart open. Yeah, he opened with star chart silk merchant. So he could top deck the silk merchant immediately. So let's get these out of the way. We need to keep drawing. I would like to get around to my hunting grounds, which is going to be top decked. Get the dungeon out first. Uh, get rid of this stuff. Play hunting grounds. Okay, we still didn't find the university. Here is the university now. Um, I think... What do we get here? I think we get the priest and then buy two silk merchants. So... Yeah. Top deck the priest, of course. 
So priest, trash, priest, trash. Because I don't really want, I need the villagers and I don't really want Cyrix to have the villagers. So what else can I do here? This is 10 potion. Sure, that's good enough. So this one, this one, and we still take the university here. You can gain pawns, guides, they're all good. Um, I have a dungeon and play, right? I think you top deck the hunting grounds then. Okay, cool. And we also need the university for the actions because these villagers will dry up soon. There's crossroads too for actions. There's also a treasure map. I don't know if we'll get the treasure map. Maybe we will. Yeah, guide. Guide is good. It's just free draw, right? And also you have the guide in case anything goes wrong, but I mean what can go wrong with Star Chart? Not a lot. So he's gonna be able to trigger these treasure maps here. I imagine. The extra hunting grounds is hurting me. But I have more silk merchants, I think. I don't know if that's any compensation for draw. It should be in theory, but I need the actions to support it. Priest, yeah, priest gets richer the more you trashed, right? So you should trash with priest first and then do the treasure maps. That trashes both cards, yeah. Get super rich. I guess he's not going for the treasure map this turn. Okay. Cool, cool. I guess you just do uni hunting grounds, right? Uni hunting grounds dungeon, uni hunting grounds guide. I don't know. Crossroads, yeah. Crossroads is the wave. Um, I'll actually gain... I was going to gain a crossroads here, but this hand is too good. <laughs> so I don't think I will because I had the estate in hand but now I don't have the estate in hand so um, could be pawn but I think we prefer guide play guide we get actions that way too something else innovation can do right now I have three actions go hunting grounds go silk merchants um I don't know if I can afford to do this treasure map thing, but let's try it. Okay, we need to play this. Oh boy. Um, I really don't want to use up my villagers here, but it's okay because I have the priests, right? I think we'll stop here and just trash. What do I gain? I gain the other treasure map, of course, of course. What am I thinking? So, just clean house with this, and with the second priest. We won't go any further because I have just the one villager. Definitely, we want something like uni crossroads and pawn, I think. How are the piles looking? Okay. Let's take the crossroads and the pawn. We actually didn't get to trash that estate. And we need to top deck the hunting grounds here. Absolutely need to do that. So we each have four unis and quite a lot of buys. I don't know if the piles are actually that secure. Maybe we keep the estate around now. Okay, so he gets another guy down. And here comes the hunting grounds. He has three hunting grounds. I don't. I could have spent money there to go for university hunting grounds, actually. That was probably better than what I did. The pawn is a waste card, so is the crossroads right now. Okay, so he takes pawns. More pawns. And here come the treasure maps, I imagine. Yes. Whoa, look at money. That is 
a nutty amount of money triple province all right time for me to penta i don't know how i'm pen doing that but we will find our way uh so dungeon first this is a good hand we'll keep this and uh, we won't call the guide so how do we do this just take a guide right and the hunting ground hunting grounds comes out um, this crossroads won't get any better now the estate doesn't seem to matter um, play some silk merchants here are the treasure maps by the way um, We have all these universities as well. Another dungeon isn't crazy. You know, let's get the pawn instead. Okay. So we need one more silk merchant to be played. And perhaps even another. This pawn we will do for card action. Let's see if we could do the trick that he did. So here we'll get the guide. I don't think we could exactly do the trick that he did. So let's trash this. Oh, I should again add dungeon. Never mind. I have another university which I won't be able to draw. Um Huh. Okay, play the dungeon first. Here is the university. Okay, we can't get that rich, and I don't think it even benefits us to get that rich. Let's get one more. Dungeon. Trip off the golds. Silk. Silk. So he could triple province. But if he triple provinces, I lose. I can't even triple province, so let me just take two of them. And humble myself. Take one more crossroads for the culture. Hunting grounds goes back on top. So he has no more villagers, which is good to know. But he has a couple guides on the map, so there's no way he stalls. There's absolutely no way he stalls. And he should be able to get around to his triple. Triple province money. So yeah, the innovation beating out the university here. It's pretty, it's quite a, a strong project. He could also alternatively pile out the dungeons and the pawns if he has that many buys. I don't know, does he have that many buys? Whoa, lots of cards. Where's all the gold, Cerx? Oh, right, he has hundreds of hunting grounds, too. Um, he has three buys. But I'm sure he'll find the money here. Like, he has to. There's no way he doesn't find the money. Yeah, okay, he's seen the whole deck now, so... Alright, there's still priest things happening. Yeah. Okay. So very good work by innovation, right? Changing the way we play Dominion usually. Well, prior to Renaissance anyway. Alright, so we have arms up here. Innovation, what do we have with innovation? Forum is good. In an innovation is kinda strange. Because I figure you could trigger either in or innovation first, so you can shuffle back all the actions and then play the in. That seems very good if you could mid to and gain an in. Um, we want arms here. We took an enchantress. I don't even know what you want to do here. 
Probably something with conspirators. Sure, let's get an enchantress ourselves. We would like to get the innovation. So you could also Yeah, get island and innovate it straight away. We have five. I'm not really sure what you do with five. Crypt is for treasure, okay. I guess you take the forum. I could take an engineer as well, but I kind of want to buy the innovation soon. So he has five for innovation there. Um, I could take another enchantress, that's not crazy. So in this game, there's the only gaining is engineer, right? So this is going to be extremely valuable with innovation. Well, charm, I mean mid-turn gaining, yeah, yeah. To, to trigger the innovation. Mid-turn is what I meant, sorry. Should be more clear. So engineer, you can gain the conspirator and then play it straight away and that'll give you the action and the card if you play it at the right time, of course. So we didn't get the six here which is wild but we'll 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 try again get more forums the forums are super important super important okay so we get enchanted there which is not helpful in our cause considering we have a forum in hand doesn't even draw a copper what good are you for him? What good are you? Yeah, I really want this innovation, man. Maybe I should be buying silver instead of <laughs> forums <laughs> if I want the innovation that badly. Because he's gonna get to one here. Yeah. Because he has, you know, silver in the deck. I don't. I just have forum. Okay, so let's get rid of these two and four them again. You have the conspirator, is what I meant. Yeah. So I can get an engineer now, but I prefer the conspirator. So this can gain a Conspirator and it'll draw. So this engineer now is not really a terminal at all in the deck, which is very, very cool. Very cool. This is for a um, border guard or oh, in. Sure. All right, in his actions as well. Oh no. I didn't find another forum, um, but we'll get the innovation anyway. Probably next buy is Forum engineer or something. Okay, so there's the enchantress. There's our second enchantress. Island to trash. Yep, that's another thing that you can do. Okay, that one gets enchanted. Can we find some? No, we cannot find anything good apparently. So there's the enchantress, and we'll get the engineer now and play it with innovation to pick up. A conspirator and we don't want to trash this engineer that is our gain for the rest of the game here so I wonder if he'll use this for enchantress yeah I, I thought he might use it for enchantress for um, charm. Yeah, the charm is plus by. What do we do here? I think you fodder the enchantress, then play the forum. Alright, so this conspirator should work, and it does work. Okay, good. So now we have the engineer. We can do. Actually, I fodder the enchantress so that I would use this engineer for an enchantress. So let's play it. Don't trash it. And we can go ahead, pick up another forum here. And some more conspirators. Mm. 
Yeah, so maybe I do want in Enchantress. I don't know. I don't really know what I want. There's the charm. 40 plus buy. Okay, which was the same as a silver in this case. So I do have three enchantresses. I will fodder that enchantress. And I can play this conspirator now. For um, lots of conspirators in the back there. As well as an enchantress. So let's get the forearm out. Discard, discard. Aha, here's another forearm. I think we will play this. It's okay, I think. Confirm discarding and we can get a border guard here to cycle past the junk as much as possible. Then play the enchantress. We need something like forum and that charm at this point what a hand <laughs> what a hand so yeah the lesson to learn from this game is that you need money to buy innovation so try to get money in your deck before you buy innovation and the charm comes down here. He could double province, but I doubt he will. He'll empty the forums. So he'll probably put gain on this. Yeah. I didn't expect the crypt, but I expected forum into five course. Then another forum. And then the last conspirator. No, an island. Okay. All right, so Enchantress, uh, we are saved. We are saved. All right, so Conspirator, Conspirator. Oh, Border Guard first should have been. Forum, out comes the Conspirator. Forum. Um, we'll take the last Conspirator here and play the Enchantress. So now there are four enchantresses left, and I probably lose on a three pile here. So let's get some points then. There's no time to pick up in, right? No time at all. Yeah, because you could easily three pile with the engineer. So let's take the province. And and what? A duchy? Uh, yes? I don't even know. Does duchy help? Should it be a charm instead? So many questions. So many questions. I don't know if the duchy helps that much. So what does he have? He has the charm and he has the engineer. So he has two gains from the charm, from the engineer, one gain from the charm plus the default. So he can empty the enchantresses, but he can't score if he does that. Right? Right. And that is also my situation. How many forums do I have? Enough of them. Okay. So I don't think my Andy Duchy does anything. I just need to get ahead of him and points, which I did. And then I should do something else. That would help me control the end of the game. So that could be another charm or another engineer.
And I think we go with the engineer on that front for gaining, because the engineer can gain two things. And he had a bad turn. Okay. So my plan with the two engineers was to empty the islands. So let's see if we can do that. So let's get rid of these two. Get rid of these two. So now we can start playing conspirators. Conspirator. Wait, I can't empty the islands. No, no, I can't, I can't, because I can do the first engineer for border guard, trash it, gain island, then play the other engineer to gain two more islands. That's three islands. And then I don't have money or buys to do it. Never mind. It doesn't work doesn't work everybody keep calm <laughs> yeah it doesn't work but maybe I can do some combination of enchantresses and island I don't know we'll 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 think about it um, I guess I put down this enchantress I don't even know if that's right I don't think that is right uh, forum. Okay, now I'll put down the enchantress because I have another one coming. Here's the conspirator. Here's the border guard, which finds us the enchantress, which we may not even want, but we'll keep it. All right. So, can we even tie the game? I don't know. So I would have to use engineer once for border guard trash pick up enchantress. Double trash to gain two more enchantresses. Then I need province enchantress to win, which is 11, which I have. So let's go for that. Hopefully I didn't miscalculate this one. So we need to get rid of all the enchantresses. We unfortunately didn't draw money there. So we'll get money from the border guard. Yeah. Trash the engineer. Pick up the Enchantress, Engineer, Trash en Engineer. Alright, we had it. We get the buy, Enchantress, Province. Okay, cool. <laughs> Pile out powered by Innovation. Alright, so. Innovation with Piazza. We also have Margrave and oh he's opening with Margrave. Very good. So innovation can play what? Your plazas for you? Your poachers, your hounds. So it's not that good. It can play the pillages straight away, but I mean the pillages don't really do anything with Margrave and Guardian around. It can play Artificer straight away, which might be worth it. Artificer Hound Innovation. Oh, Artificer is mid-turn gaining. Okay, there you go. That's excellent, actually. <laughs> so you have mid-turn gaining here. So the innovation does work. Um, he went for the artificer. I'll take the guardian here. I'd rather the guardian than the hound. Because I was hoping it would get me to six, but you know. Rubbish galore. So I have the. I, I'm, I'm guaranteed six on this hand here, so we'll take the guardian. We'll want a couple of them anyway to dodge Margraves. Um, you can't really trash here. Um, that's okay that is okay so gains the Margrave yeah so we'll do this attack we get the attack in which is good but he's gonna attack us now uh, let's get the innovation out yeah this attack isn't awful Um, let's get our hound, because apparently that, oh, I can play it. 
Haha. <laughs> Do I want to play it? Yeah, why not? If we draw the Margrave, we draw the Margrave. Who cares? It's not that important. I forgot about my own innovation. Um, this has to be Plaza. I don't think... Well, hold on. Let's play it. Discard. Because we can't use that treasure anyway. So that's one thing with innovation. You can't use extra treasure. And this should let us buy an artificer here. So he gets the innovation and plays our guardian. Okay. So let's go with the Margrave. We do draw the Hound. But check this out. We get the Artificer, play the Artificer. Use the Artificer because all of these cards are dead anyway. And set the Hound aside. Pick up another Plaza on top of the deck which is cool, and the Hound will come back to hand as well, regardless of the Margrave attack. Yeah, that was elegant. The sad part is I don't have a Guardian in play, but it didn't matter. Okay, so don't discard here, because we don't want the Coppers in the Shuffle. And we... Do we discard here? Because I might want to buy another Artificer. Let's not discard. Oh, I can't even buy an artificer. What the hell am I saying? Um, okay, so check this out. We're going to go with Ranger. Play the Ranger to turn the token down immediately. And we need extra draw anyway, right? Um, I don't think I play this second Guardian, because never mind. I should have played it. I thought I would find the Margrave draw through the shuffle and have a chance of playing it the next turn, but never mind that. Never mind that. So the Artificer gains a Hound and the Hound comes into play straight away. Lots of Hounds being bought here. Maybe I'll get a Piazza. Piazza isn't that good, but whatever. Artificer and Margrave are so much better than Piazza. Um, I don't really want the Artificer, because I know the Margrave is in the top two. I could play the Pillage. He has a Guardian in play. Never mind. Okay, let's just... I don't have to play the action card. That's the other good thing with innovation. I'm not forced to. But I want a piazza anyway. I know it's not good, but... You know what? Fight me. Artificer, second Margrave. They're all better options than piazza, I feel. Here's so many of these dogs. Because they keep coming back to hand. What did he get? Piazza, we also got Piazza. So we have a copper on top, we know that. So Plaza, we won't discard because we have the Artificer around. Oh boy. He has a Ranger, but we don't have actions. Did we hit him with the Margrave? Wow. <laughs> Did not expect that. And... Okay then. This is okay, actually. So we'll use this because we have three estates pick up a plaza put it on top play it and this copper I can discard I think ranger draws hound draws and we'll stop right there okay cool So we could spend one for Margrave and Hound. That seems okay. I want to do some tricks with the Ranger first. Let's not play the second Guardian. 
Okay, good, good. We found our mod here. This is excellent. To have this stuff in hand. So he's discarding five for another artificer. Yeah, he's gonna be using these hounds. But we do get to hit him again here. So let's do the piazza. We get Margrave. Wow, what a piazza. That is excellent news. So Plaza, don't discard Margrave. Okay, so I want to pull out our ranger here. So Artificer, good, we drew an estate. So two estates, two hounds go down. And set the hounds aside. Get the ranger, play the ranger. Now Plaza comes down. Um, I guess I can discard there and then play this ranger. To draw all the way up to the end. Okay. I think I need more draw. So Plaza, Margrave, End buys, Guardian, and the Hounds come back. No, I don't have any Artificer in hand. Um, hopefully I can buy an Artificer here to make use of all this crap in my hand. So there's yeah, a lot of things to think about, new things to think about with this innovation. Right, when to gain the Ranger, when to gain the Hound, when to gain the Artificer. Not, um, not entirely clear cut here. So he's gaining lots and lots of Artificers. There comes the Ranger. Oh, Piazza might save us. Does it? It does. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, don't discard. Let's get the Margrave out. See, the problem here is that we only have the one Artificer, so we kind of have to wait until it shows up before we use these Hounds to do anything. Plaza. I'm not going to discard again. Okay, here's the Artificer now and use it, definitely use it. So I can get rid of two hounds, three estates, they get a five cost, which will be definitely another artificer. Um, yeah, I can play it. Sure, let's play it. All right, so I know Ranger is top deck. Um, let's gain another artificer. One, two, three, four. I'm not playing this plaza, right? No. So let's get another artificer. Let's play this ranger. And buy the last artificer. There goes that. And out comes the Guardian. Okay, great, great. So now we're set up to do quite a few things. I might be interested in a few more Hounds at this point, just as Artificer discard fodder. I just have two, which means Cyrix has five Hounds. Man, Cyrix, what are you doing with all these dogs? I don't know, I don't know. But the Artificer also lets us control the end of the game, which is close. There's just three Hounds and four Plaza is very, very easy to gain with Talisman and Artificers floating around. Um, so his innovation paid off. He was able to get a Plaza, not innovation, Piazza, revealed a Plaza. I might, I would like to be able to gain both a Talisman and a potion here but I don't know if that is possible at all because the talisman helps with the pilot I wonder if he could do it can you do it Cyrix? gain talisman gain 
But you don't even need the potion if you're going for pylos. You just need two coin to buy an estate. Right? So what if you use that instead for two talismans? Then you get all the hounds for two dollars. Ay, ay, ay. Come on, stop making my life difficult by buying a province. Um, okay. So let's see if this piazza. Okay, that's excellent. We won't discard there because we have the um, artificers in hand. So let me see if I could end it. I need to empty hounds and plazas, and it has to be a potion buy, right? I don't think I have money to go ahead and buy province here. All right, so let's get that ranger out. Okay. So what do we do now? There's also something to be said for using the artificers to gain lots of hounds. And then drawing with those. Using the last artificer to gain up talisman that doesn't work either i think you can gain one hound and one talisman and one potion and maybe do it i don't know let's 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 try so the first one should be the hound i think use artificer um I wonder if to discard this hound or not. Uh, I think I'll have enough money. So let's get rid of the copper instead. So we can gain the hound and play it straight away. Is why we do that first. Just for some more draw. Let's get an even bigger hand size. Play the plaza. Get. An even bigger hand size. So we don't need guardians or rangers if we're doing this stuff, right? So let's get the artificer out. Use it. Okay. So we need one, two, three, four. We well, bought our potion. I didn't even see that. Let's take the talisman. So yeah, let's go ahead and do plaza. Play the hound actually here. Oh, we have another Margrave. What? I didn't know that. Plaza. Um, oh, I have two artificers, so this should be okay. So I can even play this Margrave. I think I need to use artificer. So we get rid of the estates and a hound. Um, set the hound aside. We need the potion to score. And then I need to draw it. And I guess we're playing the ranger. So can we do it? Is it possible? Let's check. Hounds, plazas, plazas. And this should be more than our province. Hells yes. Okay. So that worked out somehow. Again, fueled by innovation. Alright, so this should be the last game for the video. Let's see what we can do with innovation in the last one here. So, innovation can be used to play Jester straight away, it can be used to play Legionaries straight away. Uh, the Wolves, you would have to draw with the Wolf, right? You can't. Keep it in your hand. Play it as a an attack. What do we do here? You want a monument and a bonfire? I don't know. You want a smithy and a bonfire? I, I, I really don't know. Let's go with the smithy and the bonfire. Oh, we have lamp. I didn't even notice that. Uh, this legionary will be a pain in the backside, but we'll manage. There's n oh, Jester gains mid-turn, so that could be cool with the innovation if you gain a mountain village. 
you get to play it straight away. Hooray. And if you give them an action, I guess they also play that action on their turn. Like, if you um, give them a mountain, it's only on your turn. Okay, thanks for the clarification. This will be a cave or village. Um, cave. And hopefully we get to four here. So I can buy a conclave. Gets mountain. Excellent. Card, that is. Let's get a conclave. Now we can continue trashing. We do want that Jester ASAP. Oh, this is quite good. How good is it though? Not good enough for lamp, right? No. But you know what it is good enough for? Innovation. That wasn't good for lamp, right? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Let's go with the innovation. And yeah, we'll take man. We have to take the village here, right? I would love to take the innovation, the, the secret cave here, but that doesn't help us. Oh, never mind, never mind, never mind. Even, anyway, okay, let me explain my thought process. I didn't want to gain a secret cave because that wouldn't put me up to six uniques to trigger the wish. But even if I get the secret cave here, innovation can let me buy another action, unique action to help me trigger the wish on the next turn. So we are going to go ahead and do this, put this down, get the money move on so here we have to remember that we should not oh no coppers no please no oh he activated the wish anyway okay all my excitement is done now um but it looks like innovation will not save us here because we don't have the conclave in hand where is my conclave oh i played it last turn okay um, okay, no problem. So if we're not triggering, then we might as well play the cave. Here's the conclave. Don't discard conclave into smithy. So this is the thing I was talking about. We get the jester now. Play the jester. And then I can gain a mountain village. Hooray. But I will, that didn't work either, because I would have had to been able to play the lamp after I played the Jester, which is not possible on this board, because there's no buy. Hooray. Um, this is a bonfire, if I ever saw one. But anyways, now we have the Jester, so we sh and our mountain village, so we should be able to trigger the lamp. No, he's going to play that. No, he doesn't. Wait. Bleh. No, curse. I can't get rid of the curse. Help. Send help immediately. Yeah, bonfire here is kind of tricky. How many bonfires did he buy? We both, there's eight coppers. I only bought twice, so we both bought the same number of times, okay. Shoot, this was bad. Um, it's not so bad, because I could pick up back my jester here. Great. Um, let's play it to see what we get. We get rubbish. Opponent gains that, of course. Hang on, I might not need to trigger this shuffle. And I don't. Great. So I won't. End actions. This one. This one. And look at this. This is cool. I, I hoped we had we got our board with wish and innovation because this is superb, honestly. To be able to play our wish straight away. It's excellent. Uh, what do we get with the wish though? I don't know. Let's get another Jester. Oh, that should have been our gold, but whatever. Okay, we'll take the gold now. This is definitely a bonfire. So I assume two Jesters are coming out here. Copper. And mountain, that's good for him. Wish for legionary, wish for gold. Please don't hurt me. Uh, okay. 
Oh, this is this is not bad. What do we wish for though? Oh, it has to be Smithy, I think. Play that off the bat. Yep, off the rip there. Um Yeah, we can discard here and play this Jester. Ah. Oh, I don't have a legionary, so I'll take it. Thanks. That was helpful. And throne room, I guess. Wait, he bought that province? I missed that. Damn. I need to get some monuments. Try and catch up. Okay. So we have money now. Conclave on Smithy. Ooh. Okay, cave. One, two, three. Wish. Let's get the wolf, right? Wolf is just as good as Smithy and offers more flexibility, and we can play this with the innovation. And we get to throw in a thrown jester here. Um, I'll take that jester. And you'll take that curse, and I'll take our province. We have so much money in this deck. He'll get a province here again. I'll probably put down a monument as well. Smithy, I don't think he wants to play that. Oh, legionary. I guess he takes it. Yeah. Oh, we at get attacked as well here. Oh, no. Oh, this is bad, man. Because the mountain village won't do anything now. No. Okay, mountain village. Do the smithy first. The jester next. We get to curse him. And what can we do now? Can buy a monument. Let's buy, I could also, no, sure, let's buy the monument and play it, then attack with the werewolf, haunting, rawr. <laughs> oh, he has the mountain village, so that should rescue the two in them. get some mountain village yeah okay so I think I think we attack and what can I do here I can buy a cave and get money for next turn that's not crazy so one, two, three. Hooray for money for next turn. So he'll draw here. He has all those mountain villages. Copper we gain, copper, copper we gain, copper. And he gets the province. Okay. All right, so let's check this jester out. Curse, opponent gains. No problem. Shoot. This is why you should draw first. <laughs> um, province. Okay. We don't get attacked and he doesn't get to province. So that's good news. But he's going to store money for next turn. Okay. Oh, did he? He didn't. Oh, he did, he did, he did. Never mind, never mind. So let's hold up on this for now. Can't really discard. Let's play this just and see what we get. We get nothing. Could bonfire. Probably duchy is better. Oh, money. There you go. What does this jester give us? A curse opponent gains we'll go for the cave option here to get money for next turn 
one, two, three. So we need to get two provinces to win, which is looking increasingly difficult. The decks got real bad real fast, apparently. No, I wanted that mountain village. So he probably gets the province I gain here because of those mountain villages. Yup, and now we can't win. Haha, <laughs> take a curse. Haha. <laughs> Yeah, cave for next turn. And wolf, which does nothing. Hey, all the good cards. Okay, he didn't have it that turn. Conclave. Smithy. Uh, let's. Oof. Mountain Village first, I guess. Throw in the Jester. I'll take that. This is my only way to win. Ta da! Okay. Don't discard. And Duchy. But he has $6 on his hand of stairs. How can he not win, yeah? Alright. So that'll bring us to the end of our innovation exploration there. Uh, Sirix, do you have any words, advice, feedback, thoughts on innovation? I agree, it is insanely good. Yeah, this is also what I was trying to get across in this video. I agree with that. Even something as trivial as cycling three cards off of Smithy is still worth it to pick up that innovation. Yeah, it does. it does change how you think about the game. Because you have to get it, or if you if 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 the f if you use your innovation in your buy phase, then you have to remember that everything else in your hand is dead at that point. Which can be a bit tricky to sort out, given that we're not accustomed to things happening in the buy phase like that, except for playing treasures. But it does a lot of good work, particularly when they're mid to end games on the board, plus buy on the board. And even without those, it's still probably worth it in most cases. I feel like it shares some similarities with someone. So someone lets you play the action at the start of your next turn and if you've played with someone, you know that it is very, very good to be able to play your action cards that quickly. Like, and innovation does it even faster than someone. Innovation does it as soon as you gain it. You can play it, is a big, big benefit. Oh, someone innovation one was sixty-six percent. Yeah, and I'm not surprised because innovation does it one turn faster. Even though it it costs more, it's definitely worth paying that six for innovation. All right, so Cerex doesn't have anything else. Let me go into my my book, see what we have for next week. I don't think I did one on Canal. But I'm not sure. I feel like I did. If not, we look at Fleet. Fleet is another great um, project. I feel like I did one on Canal. So probably we'll do Fleet next week. 
if that is the case. Uh, in the meantime, thank you all for watching. Um, I will see you next time.